sitting here with Dave Titterton, the 2014 professional Mr. Universe. Has it sunk in? To be honest, no. I've been, uh, I haven't slept a wink all night. I've just been sort of laid in the <laughs> ceiling. Um, it was just like a dream, you know, to follow in such like greats as Gary Lister, Charles Claremont, Eddie yeah. Elwood, Eduardo Quack, and things yeah. like that. To have that title and art, obviously, the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's amazing. Plenty of uh, plenty of famous names there. Obviously, Eddie was judging last night. Five times professional Mr. Universe, yes. Eddie Elwood, and two times professional Mr. Universe, Gary Lister was on stage in the over 50s. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, you're definitely amongst friends and amongst good company. Absolutely, yeah. What's it like being part of the, the NABBA Universe experience? I think um, I think it's a very exciting time uh, for NABBA with the launch of the Pro Division. Yeah. I think with uh, like Lee Priest yeah. um, and a few of the guys, like Charles Mario and a few other guys that have come back, I think NABBA's given a home to hardcore bodybuilding, yeah. um, which I think is absolutely a, a great marketing angle because I think... Um, I love the general fitness company. I train with a men's physique competitor, but I am a bodybuilder. Yeah. And I like the fact that NABA are concentrating on bodybuilding. Mm. And I think there is a niche for that. And I think when we exploit that niche, I think NABA is going to become huge, huge. Well, that's obviously our, um, our, our mandate. And uh, we've got Jim Charles here. I just spoke to Jim a moment ago. And Jim, well, Jim. Jim mentioned... Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. See you later, Jim. Um, yeah, Jim was just saying that, you know, NABBA is bodybuilding, it's always been bodybuilding and it will always stay bodybuilding. That's our first priority. Yeah. Um, you know, providing a home for hardcore bodybuilders. And I think, you know, we're in other parts of the world, uh, people might be sort of leaning towards the boys in board shorts sort of stuff. It's certainly in the UK, hardcore bodybuilding is alive and well. Certainly. Yeah. And it seems like... Um, yeah, it doesn't matter what happens, there will always be a home for, for hardcore bodybuilders in the UK. I, I, I personally think globally, hardcore bodybuilding is alive and well. I think there is a lot of media coverage because it's perhaps a more acceptable and more attainable look, which yeah. I can understand that. That's great. Anybody that goes to the gym, I look as part of the Iron Family. Yeah. That's great. But me, myself personally, yeah. I've always liked to look in awe at my heroes, yeah. not think, I can do that. Yeah. It's that constant aspiring to, to be better and better, I think, that, that separates bodybuilding from the other one. Well, after last night, I'm sure there'll be thousands of people around the world looking at you going, I want to look like Dave Citizen. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, so, that's flattering. I mean, uh, um, like I say, if I can inspire one person, um, you know what I mean, to, to put down the junk food and go to the gym, yeah. then I think that's a, a step in the right direction and I'll, I'll have achieved something. All right. Out of interest, what was your comp weight yesterday? I was, uh, first thing in the morning, I was 18 stone 12 pounds. Uh, by the time I'd finished carving up, I was 19, 19 stone 2. Okay, so that's... 268 pounds. 268 pounds. Yeah. That's roughly 115 kilos, maybe? More like 130. 120? 130. 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, 120, yeah, about 120, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's, um, that's, that's big. I was going to say, I, I met with Mark Getty after his pro world win earlier this year. Yeah, Mark's a good friend of mine. And well, I know because you're both class one, yeah. both very tall, both very big. And I think uh, I know Mark said he was going to try and do back to back world titles. Yeah. But from my perspective, I'm sitting there waiting for the day when Dave and Mark are battling it out, leaving it all on stage at the pro universe. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, I've been fortunate enough to have um, a few victories over Mark at, at amateur level, yeah. and he's not he's not hit me back yet. Uh, but, Mark, you can. I know you can. I don't know you're capable of it. That's what keeps me on my toes. Uh, but yeah, Mark's a good friend of mine. When I was over for the uh, for the Worlds, uh, sorry, when I was over earlier in the year for the Irish Muscle Power, yep. after the Worlds, I trained with Mark for the weekend. He's a yep. smashing guy. We've, we've yep. always really got on. And that, I think, is something else at Nava that has been great. When the curtain was down last night, when we were all getting introduced, yep. all of us were still holding hands. Yep. All of us were still holding hands. And, uh, I wish we could get. I wish we had a photo of that because yeah. that's the sort of thing that you don't see. The backstage uh, element, the yeah. backstage camaraderie, you just you don't see that all, all the time. We were all towering each other down, yeah. wiping off sweat, making yeah. sure that as oil went on. Yeah. What other sport do you get that level of? Uh, it is a brotherhood. Yeah. Um, I like to say I look at anybody that goes to the gym. 
whether it's a pregnant lady who's just had a baby and trying to drop weight, mm -hmm. you're taking a step in the right direction and you're part of the family. Yep. Um, it was obviously, it was the 65th Mr. Universe contest. So going back 65 years to, I mean, 19, 65 years of the universe back to 1948, because um, there was no contest in 49, you know, there's obviously some fantastic winners in there. Yeah. I think you're a, a, a fantastic example of where bodybuilding has come to and where it can go in the Thanks. future. Um, what's it like being part of the 65th Mr. Universe? I am and being the winner of the 65th Mr. Universe contest. Unbelievable. The, the history. I, I still, like I said, I'm an absolute bodybuilding fanatic. I still like them. Reg Parks, Steve Reeves, yep. you know what I mean, um, Charles Grimmick, yep. guys like that, you know what I mean, right forward through to Arnold, to Sergio Oliva, to these guys that were all competed at the Navi Universe. And to be part of that history yep. is, I can't measure it in words and what it means. Um, like I say, I, I laid awake looking at the ceiling all night, <laughs> dead, dead no wake my wife up. <laughs> <laughs> Going, what have I just done? <laughs> just like, <laughs> What's uh, what's next for you? Um, I am going to be competing in Australia. Yep. Um, in March, so basically I will be back in the gym on Monday. Okay. And I'll start work to make improvements. So you'll be at the Lee Prex Classic. Yes, I will. So yeah. Mr. Universe 2014 will be at the Lee Prex Classic. Indeed Actually, I, I don't know if I should if I should, if I should tell you this, but uh, after the Worlds, I spoke to Lee Getty. And you and Mark may actually have a showdown sooner than you think, because yeah. Mark is planning on being there as well. So we'll have our Pro Mr. World and our Pro Mr. Universe in awesome. Sydney for the Lee Press Classic. That's going to be massive. I, bet, I, I bet, I, actually, I better go. I better go start hyping this up. Yeah, I always, uh, to be honest, I always think that's incredible. The more good athletes yeah. we can get and stand on the stage, that's what it's all about. And make no mistake, yeah. if I get beaten, by a better man, I will be the first to hold his hand up in the air because I know how hard he's worked to do yeah. it. Um, I hope, I know that the guys will feel the same way, vice mm. versa. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Congratulations again. Thanks very much. You're an absolute gentleman and uh, a fantastic ambassador for the sport. Thanks very much. And for NABBA. Thank you for being a part of the NABBA family. Thanks very much. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>